Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're taking a look at how to fix we can't sign into your account or you've been signed in with a temporary profile. I can't just start this out without telling you in advance, back up your username folder in case you make a mistake and change the wrong account. So go to Users and back up any user accounts you have. Make sure you can see App Data so that you make sure it transfers over. Just play it safe. And we'll do that by clicking View options if you don't see the app data folder view tab show hidden files folders and drives click OK the other thing you want to make note of while you're here because I know you're backing it up right is the name of the folder for the user that you're gonna try and fix make sure you know it C colon backslash users major geeks you could minimize file explorer we can come back to it later next thing we're gonna want to do is step one it sounds crazy but trust me, reboot four times and see if your account gets correctly logged back into. That came out horribly, but you know what I mean. So sometimes there's a Windows update or something pending it changed something. And once you reboot, it might fix itself. And yes, I know it's crazy, but reboot four times. I apologize if it wastes your time, but it's a little easier than tinkering with your registry and it might work. So now registry fixes you should back up your registry of course you should be in an administrator account and there's a link in our tutorial which is in the video description to boot into windows troubleshooting menu if you can't there are three fixes and we need to know what they call the sid security identifier of the account you want to fix so let's press the windows key plus x and click on powershell you can also run the command prompt. You can usually search for CMD or you can find it in start Windows system command prompt. I like PowerShell because you can copy and paste. You can't always do that with the command prompt. Control V or type in who am I? One word space forward slash user. Once again, like keeping file explorer open, let's keep it open. And let's take note of the account you want to fix. So in this case, Major Geeks, there's my SID number. We're going to need this going forward. So let's minimize. Now, again, it seems complicated, but it's not. I even got a little lost writing this. It's, it's not that bad. You have three potential problems. Let's find yours. Highlight this code right here, or if you're following along at home, Windows key plus R. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, press enter or click on OK, and then click yes for user control, user account control. Clear this out or highlight it and press control V or click your way down through step by step till you get to that. Now what you see here has to match your SID. That's why we have it. Good job, Tim. There we go. Here's your SID, so number 1000. There I am right there. See users, major geeks. But you need to know that number because you may not have the correct profile image path. So once again, match that up. Once you know you've found the account ID, we can fix your problem depending on what you see. Let's see what you see. If you see a key with no dot back extension, sometimes you'll see the dot back. And all three of these are going to be the same. We're going to want to enter the correct path to your user account under the profile image path. You can double click that. And remember I mentioned to keep File Explorer open because you can just click here, right click, copy. And that way you make sure with the control V that you typed it correctly. Second thing you want to check is the state key. You see the zero here, that means your value data is zero. If it's a one, double click state, change the value data from one to zero. Now keep in mind, we have two more possible solutions for you, depending on what you're seeing here in the registry. You're gonna repeat this both times. That should hopefully simplify a little bit for you. Now you might have a key with a dot back extension. Pretty easy to do. What you wanna do is come into your registry, find a dot back one, right click, and select delete now repeat what we just did earlier click on this key verify the profile image path is the correct user account and that state is zero number three the SID key listed twice I don't have that here to show you 
But what you would do is, I have some, something similar. You want to find the key without the back extension and delete it. And then reverse it by renaming the key dot back by erasing, by going back. So what you would do is, these keys would match, they'd both be a thousand for example. You would right click and delete this key. Then you would come down here, right click and rename. And one, two, three, four. Then you would, once again, you got it. Verify the profile image path is correct. Verify the state is set to zero. Not too tough to do. And that should cover you. Now, if you get in trouble, you can follow this link to reset your PC. The problem is you lose all your apps, but it saves all your personal files. And a lot of stuff you can find and see Windows old. So this could be great for, for example, maybe you might be able to restore the files from your user folder by doing that. Another thing you can do is system restore. I have it disabled here, but by typing system restore, this can work too. Mine says create because I have it off. But here's what you'll do. You'll click right here where it says system restore, assuming it's on. If it's off, you can forget it. You're where I am. And then look for a restore point that you know was before your problem started. So there's a pretty good chance that this problem started for you recently. And if you know what happened three days ago, go to restore point four, five, six, seven days ago and see if that fixes your problem. But again, as mentioned, be sure you're trying to reboot four times first and then just take your time. This registry stuff is easy. It's all almost the same. And I hope I simplify it the best I can because it seems a little confused if you just kind of read it. So this video will also be embedded in the page. So you can follow along with this video and the page at the same time. Once again, check the video description for the link to that. Bottom right hand corner, little Major Geeks logo always pops up. If we gave you a hand, you can click that and subscribe, drop a like, and leave a comment and myself or one of our followers will hopefully help you out if you didn't get there. All right. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.